Hey guys, welcome back on Pinktivity, and today I've got Geriatric with me here, and we're going to do the June Loot Crate, uh, or actually Loot Gaming box, and uh, I'm going to let him do the honors of opening this one. It's ginormous compared to uh, the one behind me here, and we'll see what's in it. Trust me, just any time I get away from Gary, it's a good day. So. <laughs> well, then consider this a good day. It is a good day. It's going to be a great day. Today's a great day. Oh, I guess I'll All just right. hand you the stuff. So I'm excited. This box is like a lot bigger. Don't know why, but ta-da. All right. Looks like we have a pop figure. Okay, sweet. I don't know if you guys probably can't tell from where I'm at, but the shelf behind me full of pop uh, characters. And this is Tracer from Overwatch. Yay. So, um, and this is also a Loot Crate exclusive, so try and get that a little closer for you. So number 92, a little bit of glare there, but sweet, cool. Another one to add to the collection, and there's six in that overall set. I haven't played Overwatch. Did you play it at uh, E3? Uh, got to do a competition at the T-Mobile booth, and you got to, it was kind of cool. You got uh, two or three pro players on each team, and it was just something fun to do. Nothing, like you didn't really get anything from it, hmm. but it was just fun. All right, All right what else? Oh, I see something I'll be taking. Oh, yeah? You're, you're taking this yeah. one? The Builders League United hat. Yay. Got any guesses? Last time I tried to do... Ah, Team Fortress. It's from Team Fortress 2. two. I think Jack Sweet. does one of that. He does that Russian guy. I think there was also like a Surgeon Simulator and an I Am Bread episode so, uh, put on those. Maybe. Oh. I don't recall, so I won't lie about it. And, of course... I don't know if you guys have been keeping track of that. The June 2016 arena pin as well. I don't know. You might be able to see it. Looks it's like uh, it. it's, it's just got an arena on it with fireworks. So cool one to add to the collection. Olympic Games are coming up, aren't they? Yes. If uh, I believe it's the Olympic Games in Rio. So they're getting ready for that. And there's been a lot of uh, hubbub about it because, you know, a lot of politics and, you know. I don't know. I won't go there. <laughs> Well, Alright, what's this? You don't even unfold it, you're killing me. Oh, sorry. Jeez. I only did one of these. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, it's a... I don't know if you can see that very well. Because it's blocking my face. Yeah, but can you see the characters on it? Uh, Street Fighter, correct? Yep, Street Fighter. And, um, and actually, take a closer look at it. A lot of the games at E3 were um, like Trekking 7... I believe a lot of games were like Street Fighter, but I think everyone's going to be surprised that they're different. You can't just say they're all the same because it's really not. What in the world is that? He's got I something with all these characters all over it. It's a mouse pad, but I don't know who the characters are. I don't know what this is. It would help if I was looking at it right, I think. There's a lot of. Characters. I have no freaking idea. I have to go to the book at, at the end and more computer. Yeah, right? so it's like a ginormous mouse pad. It's good to have. And actually, I'm going to take it out of its film. There's that. So you guys can avoid the glare. So a lot of the characters there. And the artist. So that's awesome. It's ginormous. I, don't, I have no idea what to do with that. It's good gaming mouse pad, I guess. Uh, I yeah, know. when you're all over the place, the mouse everywhere just like that. And what is that? It says end of the line, but I think it's Team Fortress because isn't that heavy? I believe so. Again. I think it's just a, um, it's it's like a movie poster. For Team Fortress. Yeah. I, I guess that's what you, what you would call it. So cool little extra there. It'll go up on the wall probably. <laughs> yeah, more than likely it'll be up on the wall. Back here somewhere. No, so that explains why the box was so big. Probably because there's a hat in it. Okay. But he's going to cheat and look and see what is um, what are the things that we couldn't identify. And it looks like our special downloadable uh, stuff to, uh, is. is an exclusive outfit for the culling. That's that game where you have to... You, it's like the real Hunger Games. I think uh, yes. Jacksepticeye and... Uh, yes. Oh, Was it Bob? Bob played I think it was Bob. Played it. So we get an exclusive outfit. We would, of course, show you, but there is a code. So sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, you got to get it to get the code, guys. So we won't cheat here. Promise. Okay. So the first thing, of course, is the Overwatch pop right, figure. Right, the figure that we showed earlier. Ah, there it is. Dota 2. Ah, oh, it's Dota. You know Dota? What is Dota? I don't know. 
I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, I don't know. There was a huge hype about it at E3 as well, and I didn't get to check that out. Looks to be like it's kind of a like a War, Warcraft sort of thing, a multiplayer uh, world. I wouldn't say open world, but maybe definitely massive multiplayer. Of course, oh, the Street Fighter yeah. t-shirt, which you saw. Um, what else? Team Fortress 2. Yeah, yep, so good I call. Right. Team Fortress 2. For that current. So I, I feel like this box is mostly dedicated to Team Fortress 2 this oh, time. There's something very cool about this. Apparently, um, there is a code. Watch the fan film online. But it also says Steam Workshop Contributor Created. So what awesome. that means is, is every time you see this logo, this product attached to it is designed by a fan who receives an artist royalty. Nice. So that's awesome. So this thing right here, um, an artist did this uh, for, for Loot Gaming? Is that yep. how that works? Okay, so they created this. And so they get to show off their work in the box this month. And um, that's awesome. Good job. And uh, apparently the guy who created this was named Mick V. That is M-C-V-E-E. -E. Mick V. Okay. So awesome. If you know who that is, go check them out. If you don't, go check them out anyway. Uh, that, course, that's really good artwork. The Arena Coin pin and, of course, the Epic Drop Ooh. is the gaming chair. Nice. Whoever got that is going to be comfortable. Yeah. That is funny. Who, who won the one last the E3 uh, pass? There were at least... 10 to 20 people that got the E3 passes. They listed them all. Um, that includes you, right? Yes, I was on there as well. <laughs> and um, I think it was on their website. And I sent in some pictures to them on Twitter, actually, while I was there. And I was like, hey, this is awesome. Thank you so much. So, um, so yeah, know. whoever got the chairs, I'm jealous. That's good. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, that is, I guess, for the yeah. Blue Gaming. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Awesome, guys. If you like it, you can check out the other videos as well. And if you'd like to get into it, uh, you know, just monthly stuff. It's kind of random, but not random. So go check it out. And again, this is Geriatric. So you can see his videos as well. And uh, Every Thursday and yes. so uh, what, Saturday. Tell us what, what your sort of schedule is. Like, what is it that you do? Oh, okay. Um, uh, Thursday, this coming Thursday, it's going to be the Purge election year. Mm. I'm actually going to be watching the other two uh building up to that so i think it's gonna be good okay. and you? and so I, I don't know if anyone else noticed this but youtube had a big purge on yeah, a lot of people so uh like i saw it today jack posted that and that's jack septa guy he posted he was like i lost two hundred fifty thousand subscribers yeah. and then uh zombie shark god mm -hmm. he lost like seventeen thousand viewers and no one seems to know why. So, and he, he made a funny comment that maybe it's in, maybe it's because the purge is coming. Yeah. So, uh, but we still have yet to figure out why that's happening. Uh, so, so, if you know, let us know. Just leave it in the comment, and, <laughs> and um, you know that would help us out a lot. And maybe we can get it all figured out. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is Geriatric. I'm Hey TV. Uh, leave me a like, leave us a comment, do what you gotta do, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Make him don't uh, escape from this house so he doesn't kill people. So whenever I'm ready, I'm going to hit this little button, and I'll turn into a werewolf, and the objective is to do so much that we don't escape. So let's look at it.